Capricorn, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of April 17th through the 23rd. This is for Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and Capricorn Rising Signs. Capricorn so at the bottom of the deck I do have the Sun and the Sun does represent the sign of Leo so there could be a Capricorn Leo connection you might have Leo in your chart uh, or there could be a Leo around you this week that's quite significant but the Sun is a very powerful healing energy the Sun represents um, content happiness success so for some of you, this is what you're moving towards. There certainly could be some Capricorns that are in the spotlight this week. Uh, you definitely could be receiving some sort of recognition, maybe a raise, maybe a promotion. Um, there could be some other Capricorns that maybe you're going to be outdoors a lot. You could be spending a lot of time outdoors in the sunshine. You also could be traveling um, to a nice sunny destination. Um, with the sun here, uh, but the overall energy is the six of wands. So the six of wands coupled with the sun. I mean, this is just amazing energy. So I definitely see many of you in the spotlight with the six of wands. This is you feeling proud of yourself, feeling accomplished, uh, coming through quite successful and victorious when it comes to something with the six of wands here. Um, so for some of you, I feel like this is on the legal front because we we do have judgment here so for some of you this could be that legal judgment or that decision that's coming through so for some of you this is with a legal matter there's some good news that's coming your way um, with judgment in the page of wands here this is some exciting news or communication that's coming to you for some of you you know maybe you've had a lawsuit pending or something like that there could be some sort of legal matter that is being resolved here this week you feel accomplished or, or this is you feeling quite proud of yourself I'm just seeing what I'm getting here yeah for some of you I feel like this definitely could be um, this could have been a lawsuit with the Five of Swords here, um, diagonal with Judgment, I feel like this was some sort of conflicts or some sort of challenging situation or energies that you were dealing with, um, Capricorn. And with the Five of Swords, this can be a little bit more of an aggressive energy. This is a person who's going to do whatever they have to do to reach a particular goal. So. Uh, for some of you, you've went through a challenging period, a challenging time. You could have definitely experienced some conflicts, had maybe even an argument or some arguments with someone. But with judgment here, this is a very powerful healing energy. So is the sun. You are literally rising up from this. So you're rising up what, from whatever challenging or difficult energies um, that you were dealing with. You're rising up from that. You're overcoming this. This is, you know, rebirth. This is recovery. For some of you, maybe you're making a decision to move forward in some way with the Page of Wands here uh, and the Fool. For some of you, you're moving forward down an exciting new path. This is like a new adventure, but it will require some sort of risk or leap of faith. Um, but I feel like you're going for it. I feel like this is you very focused on the future with the Queen of Swords here. Very determined, more serious energy. I feel like you're planning things out. You're really paying attention to the details. This could be you strategizing. Um, definitely taking on, for some of you, a little bit more of an aggressive approach here, but you know, sometimes in life you need to. Um, for other Capricorns, I feel like this is you healing. You're overcoming uh, some sort of difficult or, or challenging situation that you were in um, with the Queen of Swords. You know, she's a fierce character. She is a fierce character. So, you know, this is a person who will use this sword to sever ties from that that no longer serves them. You know, she can be very sharp with her communication. 
So for some of you, yes, you need to take caution with that. This could be <laughs> um, some some very sharp, um, sh blunt, straight to the point communication that's taking place. Um, I'm not really getting that too strongly here, but she is a more serious character. And I feel like for some of you, you're definitely moving forward. You're moving down a new path. You could be seeing something for what it really is with judgment here. You could be hearing the call. You could definitely be hearing the call and now moving forward, taking taking action here, moving forward, moving in a new direction. Um, because with the with the fool and then the knight of wands here, this is you enthusiastically moving forward. With the knight of wands, you could be moving house, you could be traveling. Uh, again, there could be some Capricorns that you're going on vacation. You definitely could be traveling to a nice sunny climate here. But this is you moving forward. And again, I feel like you're moving away from challenging energies or a difficult situation with the five of wands here, or excuse me, with the five of pentacles here, you have two fives. You have the five of swords and the five of pentacles. And again, fives represent a challenging energy, but I feel like this is what you're moving away from. The knight of wands is a very fast paced, hasty energy. So I, I feel like changes in the air for a lot of signs uh, this week. And I feel like things are definitely going to pick up for you. The Knight of, of Wands can be a very sudden energy. So there could be this opportunity that's coming in for some of you, and it's coming in uh, quite suddenly for some of you. And this is your energy, very fiery, uh, very passionate, and, and enthusiastically moving forward down this new path. You're going for it. You're taking this risk. And you're going to come through quite successful. Um, you're going to be victorious with whatever this is. So because we have, you know, the page of, of wands here um, with the fool, this could be anything from like a creative project, uh, a creative endeavor. You could be moving house. You could be starting a new job or starting a business. But but it's something that is, is really exciting. And it could be something that you're very passionate about. And this is definitely happening uh, you're going through some change, definitely. We have death, and death is mirroring judgment here. So death does represent the sign of Scorpio, so of course there could be a Scorpio individual. That's quite significant, but this is a great change that you're going through. When you see death, you know that change is taking place. Death is, is, is something ending within your life and creating that space for something new to come in, or it's something transforming. So something is ending the way that it once was. It's no more. It's transforming. So there is this, this, this very powerful change that's taking place. For some of you, something could have ended and now you are moving down a new path and it will require some sort of risk or leap of faith. Um, for other Capricorns, you need to make a decision when it comes to this. And it could be on the job front because we have the five of pentacles underneath death. So. Uh, for some of you, you might have been working a job where you might have felt like there was a lack of financial um, stability, security. You might have felt as though you weren't making enough money. There was no room for advancement. With the Five of Pentacles definitely lacking here, something was missing. But there's change that's coming in. So for some of you, this is going to be on the job front. For some of you, this is you moving forward. You you definitely could have landed a new job, or you certainly could even be moving up within the company that you work for, uh, because this is ending here. So if you were a Capricorn that was dealing with any sort of financial hardships, that's coming to an end. Change is, is on the horizon here. You need to move forward confidently and optimistically with the with these energies here. Positive thinking, that's for sure. Um, for a very small number of you, this will be maybe on the relationship front. With the Five of Pentacles, you know, some of you, you might have felt abandoned or, you know, you might have felt stuck within a situation, an environment 
this can be like a depressive down and out sort of energy you might have felt a lack within a relationship or a situation uh, but this is you now moving forward again moving away from the, these challenging energies uh, but for a very small number of you, a decision is required here. So for some of you, you are hearing the call, but it's up to you whether or not you want to take action. I do see many of you doing that, but for some of you, you need to make that decision. You need to confidently move forward. Um, very interesting spread. It's very positive uh, because I see many of you moving away from this more challenging energy. All right, so let me pull you an additional guidance card. Capricorn, additional guidance for Capricorn. I don't really see you coming through really emotional this week whatsoever. I see you more, more passionate, um, more fiery this week. Some of you even a little bit more serious. All right, additional guidance for Capricorn. What else does Capricorn need to know? That's interesting. We have Archangel Michael. I am with you, giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. Very nice. So if you're maybe struggling uh, for some of you, I don't really see this, but you know, with, with this energy, there could be a small number of you that are, are struggling to move forward. You could be lacking self-confidence or something like that. Uh, you need to call on Archangel Michael. He's going to come through and he's going to bless you um, with that support. Uh, for some of you, you need to find that, that inner strength, that, that courage, that confidence, and you need to move forward, which with the Six of Wands here and then that Sun, I do see many of you doing that. Um, but for those of you that are having a hard time with really moving forward confidently, you need to call on Archangel Michael, okay? So Capricorn, uh, I do hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, and I do wish you a wonderful week. Take care.